After four days of peacefulness and beautiful nature of remote Olkon Island, we were back in Irkutsk and ready to board the train again and continue our adventure. Our destination is Ulanude, city in East Siberia. Boarded and ready to go. This part of the journey between Irkutsk and Ulanude is the most scenic part of the whole Trans-Siberian Railway. As the train goes around the Baikal Lake, in some parts getting so close that it seems like it's almost touching the water from the lake. This is the reason why we decided to take seating option for this part and enjoy the views. There are trains few times per day and we wanted to have a daylight as long as possible, so we boarded the train midday. Nine pounds uh, each uh, to go from Irkutsk to Lanude, which is very, very cheap and it's only eight hours. When buying the seats, you will have the option to select your seat. Make sure you select the seats which are positioned on the lakeside. Time to get some coffee in the train. In the train you get a glass for free and there is a hot boiling water, always ready for use, so you just need to bring your own coffee. This part of the Trans-Siberian Railway was the most difficult part to build. The thing is that it was very expensive to build the railway which will go all around the lake. So what they did at first, they used the icebreaker, it's, which is the very a big boat. The whole train with all the passengers was loaded on that boat. The boat would take the whole train from one side of the lake to another side of the lake. But this wasn't a very efficient solution and uh, what was happening is that the war started between Japan and uh, Russia. So they needed to find an efficient way of taking the armory and the military as fast as possible to the east. Uh, it was the winter and the quickest solution for that was to actually build the railway on the lake itself because during the winter the lake is frozen uh, and the, the ice is very thick. So they laid the rail tracks on the lake itself. But this didn't end up well as the ice broke and the whole train sunk. This part of the railway was built more than a hundred years ago. It is an outstanding landmark to the construction and engineering art. There are a lot of beautiful constructed tunnels and bridges along the way, making this part somewhat of a railway monument. So this is where the train is actually separating from the right away and starting to go towards Ten p.m. and we just arrived in Ulanode. Welcome to Ulanode, a city that was closed up until 1980s due to its secret military plans. Still today, there are some blank spaces on the map. Behind me is a famous Lenin's Head Monument. This is the biggest head monument in the world. The Head Monument was unveiled in 1971 to mark 100th anniversary of Lenin's birth. Now it's a famous site in Ulanude and as we learned it's a common meeting place and the wedding photo site. We couldn't resist to make our photo session with Lenin as well. Ulanude was one of the areas completely closed for foreigners. In the past, Soviet government was controlling and restricting certain areas from traveling. They did it in order to limit observation of the areas that they considered sensitive. Today, this city has a population of 380,000 people. It's a capital of Buryutia Republic and most of the people here practice Buddhism. So it's a very different from the rest of Russia, which is mainly Orthodox Christian. The Buryat minority group are descendants of Mongols who historically lived in the area of Lake Baikal. They speak Mongolic language called Buryat. For a day here we managed 
managed to see quite a few weddings, some of them Christian weddings. And some Buddhist weddings. We also had a delicious food as always. First things first, we have to eat something. Come on. Nope. That's the end. <laughs> first things first, we have to eat something. So, come on. And for dessert, Blinivitz Gushenka. This is essentially a crepe filled with condensed milk. It's really great combination that we fell in love with and we had it in almost every city that we visited. We took a 97 bus from the city center and uh, 15 to 20 minutes later we are at this Buddhist temple. This is Buddhist temple in Uvalode. Uh, it looks very nice but also it has this amazing panoramic view. Uh, one of the highlights is that inside is a golden Buddha statue which is the biggest uh, Buddha statue here in uh, Russia. It's about 6 p.m. now, we're getting a little tired and I think we did everything we wanted to do around Ulan Ude. Uh, there's nothing much to do here actually. Uh, this, the city is a popular stopover from uh, when you're going on Trans-Siberian or Trans-Mongolian Railway. And this is actually the place where the railways go their separate paths, so there are different tracks now to Vladivostok and south to Mongolia. And we're off to Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar.